A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was looking after the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, priest of Midian. He led his flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the shape of a flame of fire coming from the middle of a bush. Moses looked. There was the bush blazing, but it was not being burnt up. I must go and look at this strange sight, Moses said, and see why the bush is not burnt. Now the Lord saw him go forward to look, and God called him from the middle of the bush. Moses, Moses, he said. Here I am, he answered. Come no nearer, he said. Take off your shoes, for the place on which you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses covered his face, afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, And now the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have witnessed the way in which the Egyptians oppressed them. So come. I send you to Pharaoh to bring the sons of Israel, my people, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, Who am I to go to Pharaoh and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? I shall be with you, was the answer. And this is the sign by which you shall know that it is I who have sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you are to offer worship to God on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord Lord is is compassion compassion and love. love. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. The Lord Lord is is compassion compassion and love. love. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The The Lord Lord is is compassion compassion and love. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The Lord is compassion and love. Let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, And no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This last weekend, we've been more aware than usual of ordinations and seminaries because of our own brand new clergy, thankfully. St. John Vianney, despite making it through to ordination through the seminary by the skin of his teeth, turns out to be our patron saint of all parish priests. His bishop sent him, not to a big and prominent parish like Guildford, but to the little backwater of ours in France. 
thinking that Father Vianney would at least be able to main the status quo of the church in that area. He could never have anticipated what was to emerge over the following years at Ars. It became a magnet for men and women seeking to grow in holiness and closer to God because of the life, witness and the preaching of the cure of Ars. Sadly, but alas, typically, the young priest's success evoked not encouragement and support from his fellow priests, but envy and jealousy of a particular form. Indignant that Father Vianney's preaching was attracting so many people, the more educated and learned clergy decided to write to their bishop in protest that one so poorly educated, after all, he only just scraped through seminary, should be preaching and teaching others. They decided to support their letter with a petition and Julie sent it around the diocese, asking each priest to sign it. Inadvertently, the letter dropped on the mat of Father Vianney's Vianney's front door. The petition read, We, the undersigned, believe that Father Vianney of ours is unfit to preach because of his lack of learning and absence of further academic formation, and that the bishop should remove his preaching licence immediately. Father Vianney took one look at the petition and signed it immediately because he agreed wholeheartedly that he was unfit to preach and lacked learning and desired that, if it was God's will, the bishop would remove him. Seeing Father Vianney's name on the petition and witnessing the obvious fruit of this great and humble priest ministry at ours, the bishop kept him preaching, much to the chagrin of annoyance of his fellow priests. Jesus gives praise and glory to the Father because the Father gave revelation to the simple and humble while hiding it from the wise and the learned. The truths of the kingdom of God are such that they can be grasped by both child and university professor alike but will always be revealed to those who are open to being taught by the Holy Spirit.